This rapper's had a love affair with hip hop all his life. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at the life and career of Common. Lonnie Rashid Lynn Jr. was born March 13, 1972, in Chicago, Illinois. In his youth, his high school rap trio CDR opened for hip hop heavyweights like NWA and Big Daddy Kane. In 1992, Lynn signed a record deal with Relativity Records and released his first single, Take It Easy, under the name Common Sense. Yo, I do it on the east. It hit number five on the Hot Rap Singles chart and was followed by his full-length debut, Can I Borrow a Dollar, that year. The album was produced by Common's close friend and soon-to-be super producer, No ID, who helped legitimize Chicago hip-hop. Common Sense expanded his fan base outside of his hometown to catch the attention of critics and hip-hop fans across America with his follow-up effort. Over the global, my vocals be traveling, unraveling, my abdomen is slime, is babbling, grammatics that are masculine, I grabbed them in. 1994's Resurrection was a critical success and was named his defining record. The album's standout single was I Used to Love Her, in which the rapper speaks to hip hop as if it were a woman. I met this girl when I was 10 years old, and what I love most, she had so much soul. She was old school, but I was just a shorty, never knew throughout my life she would be there for me. The song is been commonly upheld as one of his all-time greatest, as well as one of the best recordings in hip-hop history. Despite this acclaim, the song created friction between Common Sense and rap group West Side Connection, which felt the lyrics insulted West Coast rap. The rivals then released a series of diss tracks, but eventually settled their differences at the insistence of Nation of Islam leader Louis Farrakhan. In 1997, he released his third album, One Day It'll All Make Sense, under the shortened moniker Common, following legal action by a California reggae band called Common Sense. The critically successful disc featured collaborations with artists such as Cannabis, Lauryn Hill, and The Roots drummer Questlove. After signing with MCA Records and moving to New York, Common started recording with the Soul Quarians in 1999. The musical collective was comprised of artists like Mos Def, Q-Tip, Erica Badu, Jay Dilla, and Questlove. Common's critical and commercial breakthrough was 2000's gold certified like water for chocolate. It's important we communicate and tune the fate of this union to the right pitch. I never call you my to even my boo. There's so much in the name and so much more in you. The single The Light was included on that record and received heavy rotation on MTV. Up next was the boundary pushing but less commercially successful effort, Electric Circus. Then came 2005's well received B, which reached the second spot on the Billboard 200 charts. The disc produced the single Go, featuring John Mayer and Kanye West. On the count of three, everybody run back to your fantasy. Now, go, 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 and on the count of three. 2007's Finding Forever topped the Billboard 200 chart and sold 155,000 copies in its first week. The next year, the Gold Certified Album also won a Grammy for a track featuring Kanye West. Also in 2008, Common dropped the album Universal Mind Control to mixed reviews. During the last years of the decade, Common began appearing on the big screen. In 2007, he was seen in the crime movies Smokin' Aces and American Gangster. The next year, he had roles in the action film Street Kings and Wanted. You need to know what it's like to put a bullet in a body. Before returning to music, Common also acted in the films Terminator Salvation, Date Night, and Just Right. But you don't even know me. I want to know you. 2011 saw the release of the No ID produced The Dreamer, The Believer. I don't even say shit, she can feel it. I talk to realists, so nails acrylic. Ass is a weapon and it's hard to conceal it. Baby in one arms, the other is a skillet. Besides the single Ghetto Dreams, the top 20 record contained the track Sweet, which saw Common taking shots at rapper Drake. 
As a result, the two traded barbs in song form for a few months until Common ended the beef at the 2012 Grammy Awards. It's kind of over now. It's, it is. It's, it's over, so, but, um, you know, it was all in the art of hip-hop. He, he, he said some things to me, so I had to say some things back. In addition to music and acting, Common dabbled in modeling and fashion and even published a memoir. He has been a spokesperson for several brands, supported various social causes, and he established the Common Ground Foundation for Disadvantaged Children. Despite his philanthropy, Common has been involved in scandal. In 2011, a media storm erupted when he was invited to the White House for a poetry reading by First Lady Michelle Obama due to his sometimes controversial lyrics. With his smooth flow and poetic lyrics, Common paints vivid imagery with his words. In a genre where one-hit wonders and superficial lyrics reign supreme, he is a breath of fresh air. So when you look at Lonnie Rashid Lynn Jr.'s love and respect for hip-hop, you realize there is really nothing common about him. And on the count of three, everybody run back to your fantasy now.